Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the freezing ass cold basement while we are here going to hell has been hotel season one episode four which i'm guessing we're entering the second act yes sure okay last episode so far my favorite of the season and i think it's because we had the song whatever it takes which was epic it was so epic i loved every second of it and i'm excited to see where we are going next so we're just gonna dive right into it get under the big cozy blanket because again Freezing. I have some water. I have all of you. Please remember, full episode watch along is available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. But you ready? I'm ready. Let's get to it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Angel. Is this for reals or a movie? I want you to tell me where your boss stashes his vault. <laughs> it's hilarious you think I'd tell you anything. Fine! Oh, I'll just have to f*** the information out of ya. So is this... I guess why I don't know if this was real or if this was, yeah, a video that they made. Performance? Won me a sex, sex, sexy award. It's, uh, very honest. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Angel, what the fuck? What? You said it was show and tell day. Yeah, I was wondering, why are they watching this? This is classy art. <laughs> you get drunk and bitch about him all the time. Everyone likes to bitch to the bartender. That one, that one is an insecure buffoon whose lonely ass watches you idiot sleep. <laughs> Princess is a bleeding heart who wants to solve everybody else's problems except her own. What is Charlie's problem? And Nifty? Yeah. You don't even want to know what her deal is. And that's why they're all in hell. Me? Fake? Wow. Guess that's why I'm an actor, dumbass. And... Hold that thought. Hello? No, I, I'm not. But... I, I'll be right there. Looks like Bell needs me for an uh, emergency shoot. I thought... So is he still wor working for Val? We haven't finished our exercises for the day. I'm sure you'll manage without me. What am I doing wrong? Well, I mean, maybe you can, I don't know, command a little more authority. But that's so mean. Uh, aggressive kindness. I could be so aggressively kind <laughs> to Angel's boss that I convince him to let Angel spend more time in the hotel. Sure, whatever gets you there, babe. Let's see how this works. Daddy, I... I... Fine. <laughs> Just improv it. Do you think anyone watches for the dialogue? <laughs> right. What are you gonna do to me? Charlie? Uh, my name's Rocky. No one gives a shit. Oh. Oh, Charlie, no. And, oh, wow, that is... <gasps> that is... What in the ever-loving fuck are you doing here? I am the princess of hell, Angel, and I go where I please! Oh, look at her giving that a whirl. You gotta go. Ah, your majesty. Oh, shit. What can I do for such a... Ah, no thank you. Mm. So how they greet each other? I have come to aggressively kindly speak with you about Angel. Later, of course. Well then, make yourself comfortable. Action! Oh, wow, Mr. Roberts. I... Oh yeah, we're gonna edit a lot of this out for YouTube. Don't move, you spicy little lad, or else I will. Exercise every day in the morning from 8 to 9 p.m. She's trying to recruit! She's trying to recruit! You know, this scene feels awfully violent. If you want help with the script, maybe I can fit... Oh, Charlie! Don't you worry your pretty blonde head about it. We have people for that. Angel. Val, I didn't know that you... <laughs> Val, I... <laughs> you really think you can have Lucifer's little bitch fight your battles for you? <gasps> you know she can't do anything. I own you. Or have you forgotten that? Oh, Anthony. Angel's Anthony. You're lucky you make me money. Now, you 
were gonna go get rid of her and then do filming all night. Get me. Get your asses back on set and we are taking this from the So is this why Angel always has one permanent black eye? Just stop! Angel, what are you talking about? Charlie, leave! I already asked you to leave and you didn't listen. You made things worse. I just wanted to help you. Well, you ain't! And let me finish my work. I... I didn't... And... Action. Oh no, Angel's gonna sing a song about this and this is gonna be terrible. I'm finding the editing of this segment very interesting where if you're paying attention, you know exactly what's going on, but it's also quick enough where you're going, did I just see what that is? But you're like, oh no, no, that is what it is. Poison, I'm sick of the poison. Wish I had something to live for tomorrow. Now this is why you're at the hotel. How did she, how did Angel end up at the hotel? I need a drink. The hardest you can make. You look like shit. <laughs> Not possible. <laughs> just a long shoot. And now we're self-medicating. Excuse me. Didn't realize this was a drink of the forget kind of night. Mm-hmm. Even start. Oh, come on. I bet I can make those wings flap. Stop! You can cut the act already. It's never gonna work on me, so all you're doing is making an ass out of yourself with this fake bullshit. Call me fake one more time, motherfucker! I dare you. Fake. fake. <laughs> You would be fucking lucky to get a chance to fuck me. Oh, the hell? Angel, where are you going? Angel's having a rock bottom moment. I really messed up at the studio today and he got, it wasn't good, okay? Gee, sounds like someone should go after him. <laughs> nah, someone Husk. Someone named Husk. Don't force him back. Just make sure he's safe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go write 100 apology letters and a lesson plan for tomorrow about boundaries. It's very astute of Charlie to figure out where she had overstepped. Hey, whiskey. I meant the whole bottle, jackass. <laughs> Be a doll and bring me another one. Did you really think he needed to roofie Angel who looks to be on a path of self-destruction? Nice try, fuckhead. <laughs> oh. What the oh, what is- Oh, that's some gambit shit right there. That fucker puts up in your drink. You don't think I can tell if someone spikes my drink? I do this all fucking time. You just let people drug you all the time? Yes, because it's easier if you don't have to take- Oh. oh. I didn't ask for Charlie to save me. I didn't ask for you to save me. I can handle myself. Really? Because I just saw someone self-destructing. It seems like you might need a bartender to talk to. It seems like Angel thinks they deserve this treatment. Maybe I'd treat you better if you were real and not some bullshit version of yourself, always pushing my boundaries. Oh, this is the episode about boundaries. Cut the act. It's not an act. This is my escape. Where I can forget about it all. I, how much I hate me. Everything. And maybe if I can ruin myself enough in the process, I won't be his favorite toy anymore. And maybe he'll let me go. Well, that is a jacked up plan, Angel. I was an overlord once, you know. But when you're dealing in souls while also being a gambler, the stakes are pretty high. And losing a few hands can be more than a little dangerous. So when you're down on your luck, you turn to anything to keep you afloat. Alistair. So I know what it's like to regret the choices made. So things look We can't get another song. You're feeling filthy as a dive bar bathroom stall. <laughs> you think your life is wrecked. Well, let me just say you're correct. 
Wait. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> a <laughs> and that's why we're in hell. So did angels sell their soul after coming to hell or before? Because you're like, crap, I'm in hell. What better way to live hell than to sell my hell soul to somebody? Get where I'm going with that? If we eat shit together, things will end up differently. It's not just like... There he is! They're fucking singing! <laughs> I'll deal with this. You're fucking dead! Oh! Oh! Yeah, he's gambling it. Oh, and he's got blow-up dice. Oh, where did Angel pull a gun from? I told you, I can handle myself, baby. Oh! Like I said, you don't know me. Sex ain't the only thing I'm good at. Good to know, because this guy ain't half bad. I'm so sorry, Angel. I promise I won't ever, 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 Charlie, ev it's fine. Thanks for caring about me. Oh, she cares so much. <laughs> I think this is yours. <laughs> hey, how about that drink? You read my mind. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the color scheme and then the music and the freezing temperature. But I get sleepy when I watch this show. <laughs> okay, could that be a hard episode for some people to watch yes especially if you are yourself in a, an abusive relationship god i hope you get help somehow somewhere able to break free but this was a this was a turn this was a turn to take but also should not be unexpected these people are in hell what did they do to get here and obviously so many, a few people have all said in the comments where they're hopeless. They're hopeless. So they think this is the treatment they deserve. And so they do what they can to just survive for eternity in that level of hell. And then you've got Charlie that comes out of nowhere who wants so desperately to save people that she does overstep. God, what an interesting take. This is an episode where you kind of have to sit in. I think more times you watch it, the more things you notice. So will Charlie ever be successful? How does she become successful? I do think it's funny, though, that Vaggy will never, I don't think will ever be redeemed because she wants to be with Charlie and protect Charlie. Her place is by Charlie. So Vaggy doesn't want to be redeemed so we got a limited and then what does season two hold <laughs> i know i'm getting ahead of myself the songs in this episode i think were important because they were telling a story they just weren't as catchy or as epic as last episodes with this respectless and and what would i what i would do but they were still had meaning just not as catchy and we're halfway through, so how does Charlie become successful? Interesting. Uh, this show has hit an intriguing buttons on me that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> but there's more to come, so please don't be strangers. So hit subscribe if you haven't already, because I would like to see you back. And I and I made earlier. It's funny because I was watching Percy Jackson where they went to hell. We got Hasbin Hotel, hell, and I'm gonna start Lucifer this week more hell stuff yay and i want you to be there with me for those adventures but in the meantime please take care of yourself this is your reminder if you haven't for a while go eat something substantial i know the girl scout cookies are in
I got a box of Thin Mints upstairs, but eat something that's not a Thin Mint cookie and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.